Right, so in this video we're going to take a quick walkthrough of the recently updated eClap in Bitwig 2.0. So like all the other devices in Bitwig 2.0, what they've gone through and done is essentially just refreshed the user interface and pulled out all the modulation sources from the instrument itself and stuck them on the left hand side in our modulation section. So if we need the LFOs or additional envelopes or anything, we can just add them in here using the little plus icons. So then the eClap instrument itself is divided into three main sections. We've got the noise source or kind of the sound generation section, the bandpass filter section, and then the global output where we can add things like effects for further processing this, set the velocity sensitivity of this instrument, and control the overall output or volume of this instrument. So this instrument is designed to create electronic clap sounds. So we start first and foremost with setting the overall decay of the sound. So if I trigger a note and I start to adjust the noise decay time, we'll have a clap sound or our noise source in this case that lasts for a longer time. And it doesn't care how long I hold the note for. I can hold it in infinitely and it would still die away at whatever decay time we've set here. So I'll leave it at something moderate. Then underneath that we have the repeat time, which if you're kind of thinking of the e-clap as designing a whole bunch of people trying to clap together with a longer or larger repeat time, it's like they're sloppier versus if we've got a shorter repeat time, it's like they're a better rehearsed group of clappers. So all the way out this time, you can really start to hear that it sounds a little bit more like a roll than a clap. And then the duration is kind of like, how long does everybody keep clapping for? That we can have really short, really short time, or as I start to increase that during. Now, even if I just tap the note really shortly, it's gonna last for the duration time. So if I add in repeat times, we can get longer roll sounds, increase that decay time, Kind of sounds like we're adding reverb to the sound, but we're really not. And so that's pretty much just designing the, the time aspects of our clap, of how long do all the claps last for, how far apart are all the individual claps, and how long do we keep clapping for. And underneath that we've got the stereo width, where we can have it either be a mono signal on the left hand side, or opening it up to a wider, where we've got different sounds in the left and the right channels. So all of this is just designing our group of claps. Then to the right of that, we have the filter section, and this sounds like a bandpass filter. So, so we see, sweep it down, we're focusing more on the low frequencies. As we sweep it up, we start to lose some of the low frequencies and really focus in on the high frequencies. Can get a little painful up there, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the top, Underneath that, we've got the Q or the focus of this filter. So how much is it boosting or how soft or smooth is our filter shape? So very broad, unfocused filter, getting full more focused and then starting to get into boosting it. So come down a little bit there. Then now you can really hear that we've got like a ringing tone in there because we've got so much Q or so much focus plus some boosting at our filters cutoff point. And then that just leaves us with the global section where we've got the ability to add more audio effects to this, set the velocity sensitivity of our instrument, and then control the overall volume. So that's the eClap. Pretty straightforward device for just designing clap sounds that are kind of electronic-y. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave any comments or questions you may have below. All right, thanks. Bye.